Kim in Sacramento watching us on Free Speech TV. Hey, Kim, what's on your mind today? Yeah, hi. Uh, actually, it's Jim. But, oh, Jim, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I wanted to point out that uh, when you have a corrupt president and he is dictating tariff laws, he's just waking up one morning and saying, I'll put a tariff on this and tariff on that, without going into any strategic committee to say, well, we do this, they're going to do that, let's come to a compromise. Then you've got a situation where a president might say, well, let's tax 25 percent on all Saudi Arabian oil coming into the country. Now, that's a good idea in one sense, because if you didn't tax rich people and you didn't tax poor people, but you got 25 percent of the Saudi Arabian oil intake, you probably could run the federal government. Well, that's what that's what Alaska did. And that's, you know, and they, they built a trillion dollar permanent fund. And every year they, you know, every citizen in Alaska gets a couple thousand bucks, literally, you know, uh, men, women and children, you know. Yeah. So uh, the good part of the taxes is, I mean, the tariffs is that it is an income. But Trump is using it, that income to cover up a giveaway, 1.7 trillion. And oh. that's why he can't do an infrastructure Oh, you're talking okay. the you're talking the GOP tax scam. Yeah, yeah, it, it's unbelievable. Now, every time you say, "Well, <clears throat> there is some good with Trump's idea," of course, you forgot, you got to hit it hard that you have a corrupt person doing things for his own right. Yeah, no, when Jim, you're absolutely right. I mean, the the point that you're Arabia, making. The point that you're making is that Trump doing this ad hoc shooting from the hip is not trade policy. It is, right. you know, they're, they're, you know it, it makes perfect sense to have a, a trade policy that puts your own country ahead of the interest, the interests of your own country ahead of the interests of other countries. That is not jingoism. That's not nativism. That's not nationalism. I, you know, I, I suppose you could argue in some sense it is, but not, not in the toxic form. That's, that's what you expect of a government. But that means that you have policies. It means you have strategy. It means you have goals. It means you're looking in multi-decade horizons. Uh, not that you're, as you, as you uh, so well said, Jim, waking up one morning and deciding, oh, I think I'll slap a tap, uh, tariff on this or that. And I'm guessing that there's not going to be a tariff tomorrow morning on uh, Make America Great Hats, for example, made in China. <laughs> well, unless they were made in China. <laughs> well, that's, that's my point. I think they are made in China. And Oh, let's tax them then. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's, that's where, you know, I'm guessing, you know, Trump is going to carve out exceptions for those things. And I guess his daughter has stopped her clothing line that she was making in China, but although it apparently, excuse me, is still being sold under a different brand, under some guy's guy's name, you know, Paul somebody or other. Say that again? <laughs> Pelosi brand. <laughs> A Adrian Vita Didi. Dini. Dini. Okay. Adrian Vita Dini is the new name for the Ivanka Trump brand of uh, clothing made in China that's being sold in the United States. And wow. yeah, I mean, you know, these, they, these people are grifters, right? Ivanka. Well, you know, the whole thing with Saudi Arabia going down there, sending Jared and the rest of it, and uh, the corrupt prince that kills people is that behind the scenes they have the largest stock offering ever given. Yeah, yeah, and Saudi Aramco. You, yeah, Trump you're is getting a part of that. You're, in all probability, in all probability, Jim. Thanks for the call.